What is going on everybody? This is Hanging Studios here. We are playing part 3 of Jack and Dexter. Good old Jack and Dexter. Now, yes it has been a while since I played this and yes uh, it is meant to be in Classic Games Week, but there has been a change to my timetable and I've really decided to, you know, switch it up a bit and because the division is coming out tomorrow and I have pre-ordered that so I will be in that early tomorrow morning and there will be a gameplay um, out for you tomorrow as soon as possible so yeah that'll be that'll be good to look forward to um, and basically what's going to happen is most of the the weeks um, most of the days of the week um, die thank you um, there'll be really it's classic end week you know all the time but Yes, there will be the occasional, like, you know, modern games, um, um, playthroughs on the channel as well, so, you know, just to spice it up a bit. But yeah, I, like, I know I'm going to be mainly doing classic games now, um, but I, yeah, I just, I don't, I, I haven't confirmed my timetable, it's just, you know, just giving you guys a heads up of what's happening. So yeah, I'll update that tonight and put in the link and the uh, sorry um, description of each video, so you guys can keep track of what's happening. So I am with get power self help. Oh okay. So you guys, um, when I when I was younger, I actually had a lot of trouble with this. I guess you could say mission. <laughs> or challenge or job um, simply because wow look at that pelican holy damn that's a sexy pelican look at it uh -huh. um, so yeah guys um, when I was younger I used to have trouble with this only because again the time it gives you it's just a, I thought it was a bit too short a time to get be able to get the power sword. and this thing right here, this is really what stuffs you up. Come on, go! Where is it? Where is it? Where's it gone? I am so lost. You took it, you thief! Even though you're a thief before! My power, sir! Come on, come on, Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's really it's really just timing with that um, moving platform there, which is really you know your success. Um, it really pretty much if you time it right, you're going to succeed. And that's the there's a, give me that trophy. That's a very good name for the trophy. Um, pretty much you have to time it with that um, I guess you could say wheel or spindle or you know fl moving platform that goes up to the upper platform platform game. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to go up here and we're actually going to jump from these blue eco power, uh, sorry not power points, I've been working with power points all day, um, blue eco uh, jump platforms and how you actually break up from this, you actually need to go up the cannon up there and actually aim and um, you get the aiming right so you can launch it. And get the orbs that are inside of there because obviously if you do okay um very quickly if you do that it's obviously not gonna break because it's an armored box i remember reading in like a uh, strategy guide for this or like a uh, like a forum or something that you can't that is i think the only box you can't break open by doing your bounce attack like that um, or really anything 
it's like pretty much indestructible if you don't have this cannon, luckily, you know? Like, oh, it's actually, um, this cannon or Red Ego. Oh, really? Come on. There we go. Alright, so that, yeah, that's, that's a little, well, okay. Most people who have played this already know this, um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much the way to do it. <laughs> I failed that magnificent. No! Okay, so there is the fish. As you would have seen that little orange piece of flesh that came up with the spiky neck on the back. That is the fish. Basically, if you get caught by that, you're immediately dead. Just immediately. So give up trying to run away from that. And now we're just gonna launch. Yeah, we. Now, guys, the division. Tom Clancy said the the division. Yeah. <laughs> really looking forward to this game. I have seen. Actually, I haven't seen a lot of gameplay because I have been trying not to spoil it for myself. Um, so yeah, I what I like to do with new games, I like to actually surprise myself um, instead of spoiling it for myself with trailers and you know first look demos and you know all those from E3 and stuff. So yeah, this um, it, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, or I just call it The Division. The Division, sorry. Um, most people probably will as well. And because it's shorter and easier. Um, short and sweet. Um, yeah, never seen any gameplay of it, and I am going to be doing a playthrough for it tomorrow, so we can all look forward to seeing that. This Who awakens the Oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me. 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Alright, so do I. How do you check? Alright, 375, yeah. For your gift, another power cell is yours. Alright guys, so that was the Oracle, um, he's pretty much a power cell generator that you have to exchange, it's, it, okay, it's kind of like a, a vending machine if you like, um, basically you pay your money, in this case it's the orbs, and pretty much it drops out your snack or prize or whatever you want to call it, um, and that's in return for currency or money, in this case precursor orbs. So we have got five out of seven scout flies. Look at this. Look at that sexy face right there. That is a cool looking cow. Back off. Back off. Or not. I'll back off. Okay. So up here, guys, we are going to go up and collect some orbs again. And this time, we're going to be introduced to Fire Canyon, that is right. And there is 50 out of 50 cent of village orbs. Hello, Kara. Hello. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer until it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Okay, so that was Kara. 
So basically, that is our introduction to crossing over Fire Canyon, the canyon for obviously fire and molten rock and lava. That'll burn us alive whether we like it or not if we fail. So we now have I believe all the power points. Up oh, far out, power points, power cells, what is with me? Okay, that's gonna get annoying. Um So yeah, we're just gonna see if we've done everything around here before we cross over, which we haven't. Bring no uh, mm, okay. Guys rock obviously is finished because it's training level. I need to get seven scout flies for the Return to the Mayor for the jungle. Okay. So really it's just scout fly, return to the mayor, and trade money for prize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello uncle, I have asked for my prize. Precursor orbs that we agreed on. I hope you put this hard earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Totter, bye bye. Gracias, Uncle. Muchly appreciated. Okay, so now we're going to go to the mayor. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight! I thank you. And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. <laughs> Yeah, we got another power cell and a trophy. All right, good stuff. So, do we trade another 90 orbs for another power cell? Yes, we do because I want to get on with this game. So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good, a, a sizable one, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, well I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Yeah, we got another power cell. Okay. Alright, so now we are going to go over to the Oracle again, if we have enough. Precursor Orbs! Which we don't, we're five short unfortunately, so that sucks balls. Okay, where to go? So you guys, it has been a while since I actually played this, um, even though it is one of my favorite, all-time favorite well, games ever. Um, it has been a while since I played this, I think it was last year, the last time I played this. I mean, okay, that might not sound like a while like, to you guys who play games I don't know how long, um, but... You know, when, you, when you've got so many like games that you play through and... You know, it is it is quite a while since you played, you know, your last favorite game. What am I saying? Pretty much you start to miss your games because they're so good and you haven't played them for so long and it just treasures to you and yeah. So where do we go now? Okay, we're not five short. Um, seven scout flies. We are the same for that. We go hunting for some scout flies.
Dude, where is my scout fly? I've worked so hard for this so far. I just want my scout fly. So I can get on with the game and have fun. Found it. Missed it. Got it. Twenty-four power cell. Okay, so that was Sandoz Village. For some reason I want to say Sandoz Beach. Oh my god, I'm gonna stop the names. Oh my god. Okay, let's not continue doing that. Let's kill this guy. Thank you. And let's go up here. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Where am I going? I need to know where the stuff lies. Where's my scalpel? So yeah, a lot of the, um, guys, a lot of uh, well, not, what am I saying? Um, back when this, before actually before this game was made, before Crash Bandicoot was made. Whoa, that was glitch, you just stayed there by the rock and you were just waiting for him to kill. It's like, you know. Anyway, um, back before this game was actually made, um, when they. when Naughty Dog was called Jam Software, um, standing for Jason and Magic and his Magic, because they are the presidents of. Um, or oh, sorry, the, the founders of Naughty Dog, um, they pretty much, you know started the company Jam Software, Jason and his, and his magic bro, um, and they did that right up, like, right from the day they left college or university, um, and yeah, they, they went on a, well, okay, they graduated, they made ski craze, uh, uh, you know, all these, all these games were like, the, I don't know, it's, the Dreamcast and like you know other PC and you know old video game platforms back in the day. Um, and for this for this whole period, it was like ten years, I think. Oh, this one. They made these games, and basically right up until I think it was Crash. Yeah, Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Um, they were right up, up until Crash Bandicoot 1 on the Island, um, they were called Jason and Annie Magic. Oh my god, my words for that, sorry. Um, and when they produced, like, you know, um, made Crash Bandicoot 1, they changed the name to Naughty Dog, which is how we all know them today. And basically, this was just, these were just, there were two guys graduated wanted to make it a name for themselves, but they, which they did very successfully. Biggest, one of the biggest gaming companies today, I'd say ever. Um, and basically, yeah, they made Crash Bandicoot and all the games for Crash Bandicoot, as Jason Massey and his magic. And once they made Crash Bandicoot, they also made a, se a sequel and prequel, full game. And, um, Crash Bandicoot 2, 3, and Team Racing. Team Racing was a just perfect, perfect, outstanding racing game. Crash Bandicoot, best game ever. Um, and yeah, it led on to Jack and Dexter, and then uh, Uncharted, and then uh, Naughty Dog. What, what is wrong with me today? And then The Last of Us. Very, very successful company. And. Yeah, so they were called Jason and Andy's Magic. I mean, what, what a cool 80s retro gaming company there. Where, um, where, where is that? Scout Fly. Scout Fly, we are. Yeah, I'm just gonna get on with it. Um, 
Yes, it is an interesting, interesting fact right there. One of your very favorite game developers was called Jason Nazi Badger. Oh, I used to always fail at this when I was younger. Oh my god. Die locker. Yeah. Awesome. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're all good. You're all good. The temperature gauge is all good. Yeah, got the blue eco. Oh no. If you could see my face right now, I should have done face cam for this. Um, I've always hated this part. But look at, like, look at the visuals. I mean, for just an old game. 15, 15 years old. 15 years old is the age of Jack Master 1. Which is insane. So like five hundred new. After what my dog did with it, we must have reached it. Mm, stupid game. Now let's hope I don't die again, because I really no. I probably am gonna die too. No. Yeah, I called it. I called it. I don't. Okay, I'm doing a hundred percent playthrough, so I don't want to miss anything. So yes, you will miss it. You will see me die quite a bit. Hopefully not too much, but you know. Mmm, <laughs> so don't want to die right- Wow, I missed it. So you guys, um, I, in this, in this, during this video, I have been thinking about my schedule, um, and basically what I'm going to do is, each day is going to be a surprise, so you won't know when I'm playing a social game, which is always fun. Oh, I'm going to blow up, I can, I'm pretty sure I'm going to blow up. Yeah! Oh, I got all the ult. Sweet! Zoom! Okay, so this is Rock Village. Pretty destroyed area, am I right? There's a scout fly down And there's some ult. And there's a blanket thing on fire, and there's a giant friggin' ship thing. Don't even remember what it's called. Whoa! I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the blue sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! What heck of a party! machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. All right, so we have officially arrived in Rock Village. I Guys, I brought the whole party with me. I just, you know, I'm a magnet. <laughs> I'm just so, so popular. So 
So you guys, I'm going to end it there. Um, stay tuned for part four of Jack and Dexter. Um, it will be coming very soon because I do love playing this game and I do want to continue. So drop a like, a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe for more content and please, please, please comment on the video. Um, I always do encourage you guys um, to, you know, express your thoughts on this amazing video or what may be an amazing video depending on how it goes. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.